Alors, il y avait un personnage qu'il fallait absolument rencontrer okay. ici au Bahreïn, ah, c'est Fauzinas, qui est ici avec son premier jeu, qui est Adris de Vries. Fauzinas, c'est le personnage qui achète tant de chevaux, notamment à, à Deauville ou euh, sur les ventes d'Arcana. Fauzinas, c'est un grand personnage des courses au Bahreïn. Hello, Fauzi. Hello. Uh, Thank you to welcome us. Oh, most welcome. Most welcome. <laughs> so, You are quite famous in France around the uh, ring, the Seine ring. So yes. now it's very important for us to, to understand more what is Bayern Bar Bahrain racing and who are you. Yes. Can you explain firstly where, where we are and uh, in a quick word the history of the Bahrain, Bahraini races? Well, Bahrain racing uh, started in 1982, if I remember correctly, as uh, an approved uh, racing uh, by Weatherbees, etc. Obviously, the attempt is not to compete with Dubai or uh, Saudi, but we're there with a nice uh, Group 2 race now. And then we have the International Series for horses rated 85 to 100, so just below the Dubai Carnival uh, level, I think. But uh, it's very competitive racing, and it's nice to see. Mm. So now, yourself, you're a trainer. Since how long do you train? Uh, about 20 years. Uh, I've been training in Bahrain. Uh, so you started very young? Uh, not that young, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, about 20 years. And uh, yeah, I've got a nice bunch of horses. Uh, I train for myself and for a few friends that support uh, my stables. And uh, we usually have, uh, you know, do well enough. So you train, how many horses do you have in training? I have 18 in training in Bahrain and 24 horses in Dubai. Are you have You have also some horses in Dubai? Yes, they are based there all year round. Uh, all year round? All year okay. round. And uh, but from Bahrain and Dubai, we sometimes take horses to Saudi Arabia as well. Uh, so you have um, your main, understand, your main stable is here. Yes. 80 horses, 80, 90 horses. 80 horses, yeah. 25 in Dubai, all year. Yes. And another stable in Saudi. Uh, no, we take them on temporary basis for 90 days. They race during the season. We target uh, the good uh, days in Saudi, ah, sorry. including the Saudi Cup. They race there and they come back to Bahrain, either to Bahrain or Dubai. But to be a trainer, because it's a big mess to organize all of that. Yes. Well, it's all teamwork. It's all about having the right staff. Uh, and I have a good team with me that most of them have been with me for 20 years. Ah, so you head make, lads. Uh... Yes, so they make life very easy, obviously when you've got your experienced uh, staff uh, working with you, and the work riders, mm. um, so it's good. Because, as I understood, in the real life, yes. <laughs> you're not only a trainer, in fact. No, no, training is my hobby. Uh, it started as a hobby, but now it's taking a lot more time of me, especially during the season. Our seasons are short, four or five months, usually. But uh, mainly I'm a board member and an executive director of uh, NAS Group, uh, which is a family business uh, composed of uh, 40 companies in the, 40. In the Gulf, uh, mainly construction and uh, other services and trading, etc., etc. Ah oui, it's a big, big, big company. And you're the boss of this, uh, of this company. I'm one of five brothers that uh, own the company and... Uh, and But how do you share your time between training horses, 100 horses, and, and, uh, and leading a company? You know, being a director, you don't need to be hands-on in the construction or any of the companies. Uh, it's called delegation. We have uh, good uh, general managers in each and every company, and they report to the board uh, you know, every quarter of a year, etc., etc. So the general managers have uh, an authority to a certain level to do, take decisions. Mm. Ah, okay. And about your horses. So, you have some uh, uh, horses coming from abroad. Yes. You, is that, do you, you buy them uh, mainly in uh, France? I like no. buying horses from Arcana. Uh, we Expensive were, horses. We were successful. Obviously, there's two things. We buy yearlings from Arcana. Uh, for Victorious or KHK or myself. They are to be trained in Europe, either France or the UK. Uh, and then we, bought, we buy from the Arcana horses in training sale as well. 
That's where Caliph that running around today came from, from the Ark sale in Arcana. Uh, but otherwise, the yearling, uh, select yearling sale, I like the quality of horses that he usually. Hmm. Because you, you, you buy expensive horses. Why? Because the quality needed, the level. Uh... The quality and the pedigrees. Uh, especially with the Phillies, we tried to, we're trying to build a broodman, uh, uh, broodmare band uh, with, you know, a high quality to, to breed from later on. Race and then breed, and, uh, and breed. breed with them. Yes. But breed here or breed in... Uh... In England. In England? In England. Okay, you have... I, have, I have a stud farm in England. You have a stud farm in England as well? Yes. Where, in Newmarket? In Newmarket. Uh, and most of the Phillies that retire will come to my stud farm there. Ah, okay. What is the name of the stud farm? It's called Ace Levy Stud. Wow. Yes. And you manage it uh, uh, as well? <laughs> you no, know, I have uh, Oliver St. Lawrence, who's also a bloodstock agent. He oversees it. And uh, the actual manager on the ground is uh, Daryl. He does a, a good job looking after the okay. stud farm. I have to tell you something. I comment all the sales for years at Arcana, commentating yes. live. And you are the only only one I see buying some expensive, expensive horses, and you don't need to be at the phone. Well, Everybody is on the phone with yeah. friends, clients, trainer. Yeah. I don't know who, yeah. but you, no, yeah, yeah. you don't need nobody. Well, sometimes yes, you know, sometimes. You know, we work on budgets, so though. Obviously, every year we'll have a budget, and uh, we'll get there hopefully with the, when they may start breeding. Mm. And uh, what is the budget? It depends year by year. <laughs> <laughs> but it's million, a few million budget. Uh, oh yes, oh yes. Finally, Fauzi, you have also uh, some breeding in Bahrain. Yes. That is quite strange. Can you explain that? As you said, uh, as you saw, 50% of the races every week are for local bred horses. Uh, 50%? Okay. 50%. Uh, about 50%. So uh, I have about 15 mares here, and a stallion that came from Arcana, Asma, he's a Cape Cross. Uh, I bought him as a yearling from Arcana. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I breed uh, my own uh, local bred horses in order to participate in these local bred races. So they have to be foaled in Bahrain. Okay, so you have... Um... They have to be fold, and um, but if you buy a mare in fall, it's okay. Yes, or? yes, it's okay as long as the fall is born in Bahrain. Ah, okay, yeah. so they they are born here, but they, they are they breed here for uh, all all the time, or they go uh, abroad to have some grass. Uh, some of them we send uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, in Europe in England uh, when they are six months weanlings. Ah, okay, some of them we send them there for grass, and some will stay here. Ah, okay, and. Um, at the end of the day, do you dream to have one day a runner uh, come back in France or in England uh, or in Ireland with a horse uh, that you have bought uh, here, uh, uh, that you have bought in Arcana, for example, and come back uh, in France to have a runner in a group one? Is that your dream or yeah, yeah, you absolutely. focused on Bahrain and uh, Dubai? No, no, it would be a dream. I've tried, I've taken horses to Royal Ascot before. A uh, long time ago, and uh, yes, of course, that's a good dream. Mm, it's always a dream. You think it's possible? It is possible, yeah. Why not? Everything's possible when you get a good horse. <laughs> <laughs> and just at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the interview, how do you choose your jockeys? Because you have international jockeys, especially. Eh? Yes, uh, again, that depends on the availability of jockeys. Uh, but in Dubai, I've had Audrey de Vries riding for me for a long time. Uh, in Bahrain, you used to have David Egan, rides for me a long time. And you have a bigger choice of jockeys, like Alberto Sana, he rides in Qatar, so he flies in for the day and, and flies back. So you have a good selection of jockeys usually in, in, the, uh, in the region. Okay, so it's easy to pick up some good, especially French, like Stéphane or... Stéphane Lajaj, he works with me uh, last year and this year. Uh, he's permanently based here for the season. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, you, need, you need good jockeys and good riders. Thank you, Fauzi. Thank you very much. Cross finger for the, for the rest of the season. Thank you very much, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.